My dudes, it's the laser dude with you again with our Vivor K40-ish under $500 CO2 laser. We've had some successful tests now. Fortunately, I've talked to some people who said that their lasers never fired out of the box. I can see how that could happen, especially at this price level. But it was packed pretty darn good. The laser tubes installed and mine was actually perfectly in focus, which is really unusual for something coming all the way from China. So. I guess I was one of the lucky ones. Their slogan is tough tools half price. Some people say half quality half price, but I don't know if I agree with that. So far it's looking pretty good. All right, so I did some wood. There's no air assist in here, so you really need to rig up your own air assist through some sort of air compressor and then shoot it through these things in the front. Because if you open this, there's a kill switch. The laser head will move, but the laser won't fire unless this is shut. The wood test came out with a little bit more flame than I want to see. You really can't put a honeycomb in here because there's not enough clearance. I'm trying to figure that out. There's probably a thin honeycomb to put in here and get rid of some of this flashback here. But what was really amazing is for the first time ever, we were able to work with clear acrylic. We did a, a raster engraving earlier, and then we just did regular engraving at about 20 millimeters a second. And I'm keeping everything at about 80 power. I know you're not supposed to go that high. It doesn't like to go there because it wears on your laser tube, but I really want to show you the capabilities here. And it really doesn't do much under that. You can do it at 40 at a slower speed, but then you have some more flashbacks. So I really want to get that speed going and the power going so it goes through further so it doesn't burn or melt. And I didn't have any flashback on this. And I was able to cut it. I did have to do three passes at five millimeters a second at 80 power for this 2.9-ish millimeter clear acrylic. But look how good that looks. Unbelievable. So, yeah, I got nothing but praise for this Vivor K40-ish CO2 laser. 40 watts, and uh, so far it's looking pretty good. I still have to recommend it. But stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and follow us here because I'm going to try a whole bunch of crazy stuff, including food, on this Vivo. Stick around. You don't want to miss that. Laser Dude, out.